Hello guys, in this video we will see how to set up Azure database for PostgreSQL 17 and connect it using pgadmin, psql and dbaver. See, I have connected to Azure portal and click on Microsoft Azure, then search for resources. So search for Azure database for PostgreSQL. See here we have the Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible servers. Select it, then click on create. Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible, flexible server or click on create both are same. See this is the estimated cost per month. Okay. Select the subscription. I have this one. If you have pre-trial you can select but mine is pay as you go and select the resource group. If you don't have any resource group just click on create new. Okay. Then provide the name for the server. I am giving AZPG 17. Okay. Then select the region. I am going with. See, based on region, cost will be changed. And workload type, I am going with development. And also select the process equal version as 17. Now, compute plus storage. See, barestable B1 MS. Its size is 1 CPU core and 2 GB RAM and 32 gigabytes storage if you want to increase just click on configure server then see here you can select the options based on your requirement you can set suppose if you select 8 cores and 32 gp memory the c cost is increased okay i'm going with minimal first for this demo purpose and storage type premium ssd and we have ultra disk also storage size you can select storage from 32 gigabytes to 32 terabytes performance type i'm going with the minimal one all i'm going with minimal one then and see here the backup returns policies by default is seven days and we can select up to 35 days i'm going with all basics minimal okay then click on save now see once we select development these high availability features like same zone and zone redundant has been grayed out. So, high availability is disabled. Authentication, see here we have two authentication methods. Microsoft Enter and PostgreSQL. Or we can have the both combination of PostgreSQL and Microsoft Enter authentication. I am going with PostgreSQL authentication only. Then provide the user. I am giving username as demo. See, we cannot you the usernames like Azure Super User, Azure PG Admin, Admin, Administrator, Root, Guest, Public or start with PG underscore. Okay. Then provide the password. Then click on, if you are okay with all these settings, then click on networking. I mean, select the networking connectivity method as public access. Allowed IP address. Public access, select the checkbox that is allow public access to this resource through the internet using a public IP address. Okay. And the firewall rules I am not going to configure now, but if you want to add your current client IP, you have to click on this one. Or that I will show you how to add later also. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on security. I am going with data encryption key as service manager key. Then click on tax. I am not going to provide any tax. Then click on review and create. See, this is the summary of Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server. For okay with all the settings, then click on create. And if you want to download a template for automation for future use, you have to click on download a template for automation. Click on create. Now it is asking create server without firewall rules. Select first one. See, initializing deployment. See, deployment is in progress. It may take 5 to 10 minutes. See, deployment is completed. Go to resource or click on home. Then click on Azure database for process equal. Then see here we have the one instance. So click on this Azure database. See, this is the overview tab. See, this is the server name which is used to connect to PostgreSQL. Okay. Now click on and see the version is PostgreSQL 17.0. See here the options. 
we have we can connect delete reset password for the user demo user if we click on reset password okay we can reset and username is demo user if we click on connect there you will see click on s see username is demo user if we click on reset password we are going to reset password for this user now provide the password for demo user and this is the connection string okay see this is the connection string provide the password that we have given for this demo user see we have successfully connected to process equal server 70 let us verify the version select version put semicolon at the end see we have created azure database for process equal 70 okay to close close this one okay this is the one way the other way is copy server name just clicking on this copy button then open pg admin if you want to install pg admin on your machine then go to the link provided in the video description and install it click on it now click on add new server or select servers right click and register then select server then give the name AZ PG seventeen name can be anything in connection. Go to connection tab. In connection tab, the host name or address we have to give the type. Port number five four three two. My name is Sridhar Basen. Post user name is demo user. Then provide the password of this user. Then click on save. It will be failed. I will show you the error and resolution. See, unable to connection server. Connection time dot expired. Why? Because we have to set the firewall. Now click on configure networking. Then scroll down to firewalls. Now click on add current IP address. In your case, give the IP range also. You can see this is for just my PC. If you want IP range, you can add here. so click on add current ip then click on save wait it is updating it is done now go to pg admin then click on save now we will be able to connect without any error see we have successfully connected expand this one see azure maintenance database azure dat azure sys database on postgres can also create database click on databases see these are the three databases see here we have the these three databases you can create the database from azure portal also click on add then i am giving database name as r2 schools and these are the character set and collection information then click on save refresh see database is created now go to pg admin right click on databases refresh see we have the database okay you can also connect azure database for postgres equal 17 by using dbover you can search for my channel to install dbover on your machine start dbover click on this plus button then select the postgres equal click on next then instead of host provide the host name provide the database name select all then provide the username username is demo user then provide the password of this user then click on test connection connected successfully click on okay click on finish expand it expand database see here we have same data as here okay so if you want to create logins right click on user or group roles select create then create login and giving username as james then definition then provide the password then click on save see user is created okay you will just can login then it will be user see i can change okay see here we have these users can also connect process equal by 
using psql client if you have psql client installed then use the command psql hyphen h then paste the host name hyphen u demo user then hyphen d postgres hit enter then provide the password of this user see we have successfully connected now if a database is back session see these are the databases like template 0 and template 1 to switch to new database auto schools just give auto schools now if i disturb tables backslash dt see you don't have any tables we can create tables here so we have connected to azure database for process equal by using four methods one cloud sql pg admin db run psql client from the windows machine the last option that i am going to show you is go to overview if you want to restart you have to select restart if you want to stop you have to stop if you want to delete it permanently you have to click on delete if you are not using this anymore then if you want to delete you have to click on delete charges are based on uses okay so suppose if you want to restart you have to click on restart select delete then here we have to provide the confirmation okay i am not going to delete but i am showing you how to delete okay so in this video we have seen how to set up Azure database for process equal then we have seen how to connect it by using cloud shell pg admin dbr and psql client for more process equal tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you